Excellency Retired General Jessica Alupo, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, Honorable Members of Parliament, Cabinet Ministers around, Your Eminency, Dr. Sheikh Shaban Ramadan Mubadje, the Mufti of Uganda, esteemed dignitaries and diplomats around, protocol observed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah states in the Holy Quran, Awadhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, Kuntum khayra ummah ukhrijat linnas, ta'muruna bil ma'roof, wa tanhawna anil munkar, ila akhiril ayah. Respected brothers and sisters, I would like to put to your attention that Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran, elevated this community and he was like, we are the best of all groups of people. And he even gave us principles that are supposed to keep us in that elevated position. Ta'muruna bil ma'roof, we enjoin each other into doing good. We also stop each other from going immoral so that we keep that position non-provoked. In line with the theme today, I would like to put to the attention of my audience today. In Islam, unity is not just a concept, but a fundamental principle that binds us together as one ummah, one community. It is narrated that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was bedridden, he gave a piece of advice to everyone that was around. He was like, all mankind is from Adam and Eve. An Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab. A non-Arab also has no superiority over an Arab. And that is a principle that we take up if we need to keep unity among us as Muslims. We all know that our religion doesn't only respect the aspect of unity as a spiritual concept, but it's also a practical one. Come on, Muslims. We have one God. We face the same direction when we are performing prayer, prayers internationally. Our book is one. As we are fasting today, we are all waiting for one minute to break our fasting. Isn't that enough to put us all together? We request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue granting us such unity amongst us. Not only that, but even when it comes to development, we are encouraged as Muslims to also consider that this unity is encouraged for us to make sure we attain highest levels of de developing. When it comes to the social economic transformation, for us Muslims, we are supposed to always take the first position. If we are talking about doctors, Muslim doctors are supposed to top the grade. We are the best of all groups of people. If we are talking about engineers, why not? Muslim engineers are supposed to keep the highest position. In other words, in any profession you are having, please, you have it as an obligation as a Muslim to develop, be an ambassador of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by representing us well. That's why if we are united as Muslims, no doubt we are going to attain the highest levels of development. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that gift. Your Excellency, I would like to put to your attention together with your eminency, none of us is perfect. But we all do our best because this religion, this institution, the prophet we follow, the Lord we all pray to, is worthy of the best. We trust our instincts as we do whatever we do on a daily basis. Some win, some may not win. Maybe some will only know in time. But we do our best 
We follow our instincts with one primary cardinal aim. Probably one time, knowing that our instincts never led us astray. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the highest levels of unity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the highest levels of development. I believe personally, if at all we take up that, we are going to be the best group of all groups of people. And as I conclude, I would like to take this opportunity, Your Excellency, to thank our leader, His Eminence, Dr. Sheikh Shaban Ramadan Mubadje, for the ginormous, tremendous goals, agendas he is spearheading to see that we are all one. We request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to preserve him and to preserve whoever is hearing the same goal because we believe that's, that truth will never be wrong. No community has ever lost when it's together. I believe if we want to develop economically, politically, socially, religiously, that's the route to take. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see us through that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to witness more of unity aims when it comes to uniting all Muslims, when it comes to seeing Muslims develop in all their aspects of life. Thanks for indulging me. Wa barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.